What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today was going to be a normal video of farming, but I had some huge news you guys have to hear about. And uh, it has to do with Masterov and White Lightning being banned from the YouTube community. Now I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about this real quick. I know everyone knows the huge drama that went on with uh, meta tagging and White Lightning calling out Masterov for it. And it looks like the uh, amount of spam that was put on his channel for the spamming of YouTube meta tags allowed for Masterov to get caught up with and Masterov seems to have been banned for that reason. I have no official word on if that was the exact reason he was banned or if there was something else, another discrepancy that I do not know about, but that would be the one that makes sense to me. So enjoy these raids in the background, we'll commentate on them in a minute. But I uh, want to go ahead and say everyone that wants either of these guys to come back, go ahead and comment below. Um, I'll have a comment below that says save white lightning and a comment below to say save master of. And you guys can like those or dislike those comments uh, just to see who gets more likes and who we want to save more. So pretend you can only save one, choose your person and like the comment. If you want to save both, you can say that too. However guys, I do want to get back to this. I am very sad to see that these guys have been uh, terminated. Now a lot of you know that White Lightning is part of the Clash Army and a good friend. He is unfortunately, it seems to be uh, tied up in this in some way. I don't believe he's done anything wrong but maybe there were false accusations against him that caused him to be temporarily banned until YouTube can do a full investigation. That's usually what they do. If enough things happen to a channel, enough complaints, they will go in there and start investigating the whole channel and they'll just take it down temporarily. So I'm hoping to see him back up and running real soon. Uh, definitely the huge unbanned white phase is going on on Twitter right now. So guys, stay tuned for an update on what's going on. I will definitely have it as soon as it comes out. I'm going to do my best to help White out and uh, anyone else that asks for help, apparently. I will help anyone that does need help with uh, legality reasons. However, let's get into this with these raids. And as you can see, definitely doing a lot of work here on these collector bases. Finding tons of Dark Elixir. And that's what I need, guys, because Masters 3, Masters 2 has tons of dead bases. And I am hunting all of that loot. As you know, I am doing my heroes. Uh, my level 30 king just came out today, and you know what, I'm going to post this on both Clash Army and, of course, my main channel, King2412, so just because I want everyone to be able to see the info and get it out there. Now, you can see here, just taking out the easy, easy bits of elixir right there and kind of distracting with those goblins, making sure I get it all. Uh, kind of wasted a few too many troops there, kind of was distracted, but as you can see, flooding the top of this base now on the left side with goblins and archers. The archers will kill that level, uh, level 11, excuse me, queen and uh, the goblins will take out the elixir. Now, once we get to the top here, I'm going to spread these archers out, trying to go for a 50%, obviously, and also take the loot, which there is a lot of, and we got to like a lot of loot, guys. Now, the reason I enjoy these farming videos is because I do a lot of pushing, as you guys know, and when I'm pushing, it gets really tiresome to be playing all day long and barely gain a few cups, when I can just come down here and let's say within 10 minutes I can win 600k loot. I can win 3 million, 2 million loot in an hour or whatever if I boost my barracks. And if I'm up there, it takes me 2 hours to get like 4 trophies. So that is a very, very tiresome subject that I don't like to uh, dwell on. I do love pushing guys, don't get me wrong. It just gets a little boring over time and I'm sure many of you understand that. I'm sure you understand the stress of pushing because no matter how good a pusher you are, it is a very time consuming and it's also a very aggravating thing to do. Now I did win about 600k loot here, a little short actually, about 500k loot. And uh, we did get about 2600 dark, which is what we're really going for because we are upgrading as heroes. You can see I'm at 154,000 dark, about to upgrade my king to level 31. And in three and a half days my queen will be done and hopefully I'll have enough loot, enough dark elixir to uh, put her to level 34, whatever she's going to next, level 33, I'm not sure. I gotta check on that, but she is getting up there. I accidentally misdropped my lightning spell, and so my second one had to be perfectly placed to make sure we got that mortar out of the way, and it did work. So we already have 500 dark elixir. Now let's hunt the outside of this base, get a few percentage points, a little extra loot, and then we will focus on getting that dark elixir storage and dark elixir mine, which we want. Whoa, big bombs, heads up guys. Those big bombs were definitely trouble. I'm glad I only dropped a few goblins there and didn't focus too many, because that could have been bad. So while breaking in down here in the right, dropping a few goblins to take that Dark Elixir out. And now I am going to worry about that Tesla and Cannon. I don't want them to cause me troubles at all when I go for the Dark Elixir. So we destroyed those. 
Now, I will start dropping troops casually, trying to take the outside buildings out here before I drop the king. Uh, drawing the bombs out, as you saw. Wasted a single goblin just to do that. And now I'm going to drop the king, take the Tesla out. Wall break in here so he doesn't get too distracted. And then flood archers around so they can take out the buildings around him and force him into the base, which is working quite fine. Now, I am worried about that wizard, so dropping these goblins slowly... And the king just took out the wizard without a problem, which is what I was hoping for to happen. And the wall breakers did not go where I wanted them to. Damn. Sorry, guys. That's unfortunate. But we do manage to get these goblins into the center after we already take the dark elixir, which is fine. They're going to split up, and they are going to ruin this base. As you know, I did save a lightning spell. I didn't waste it, luckily. And I'm at 49%. Looks like we're going to get the 50 right here. And boom. Oh, come on. Any second. Give me a 50%. I deserve it. There it is. <laughs> All right. We're going to pause it, guys. Look at this big bomb about to go off. Now, what I want to point out to you is why did this guy fail? Because even if I didn't get the 50% by natural means, I could always do this. And goodbye. <laughs> three percent guys nice and easy very stupid to have all those that close together you could easily take all of them out with two lightning spells maybe three at worst case scenario one another three thousand dark hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next episode peace